The Diego grape is unique to the Canary Islands of Lanzarote and the southern portion of Spain, and it yields a delicious white wine that is rich in the mouth but clean and crisp on the finish, and is known for its ageability. This cluster of Spanish islands is almost a thousand miles south of Spain, at the extreme edge of where wine grapes can be grown. Volcanoes pushed the island of Lanzarote above sea level about 11 million years ago. As a result, today's landscape is hauntingly moon-like, but yet captivating, too. I could look at photos of these vineyards for days, but I have about 45 seconds before I exhaust the attention span of the average YouTube viewer, so I'll let these images do most of the talking. Kidding. Volcanic eruptions spanned six years from 1730 to 1736 and covered this island in black ash. It put an end to the island's long reign as the agricultural epicenter of the Canary Islands, and the devastation included famine and a massive outward migration. But eventually, wine grapes were found to be a productive crop, though with heroic efforts required to tend and harvest the vines. Because the black ash isn't fertile, growers dug down until they reached the original topsoil before planting a vine. The depth of the volcanic ash determined the width of the crater, and therefore it's not unusual to have just 80 vines per acre. Were this not a UNESCO site, the cost of production would make these wines amongst the priciest we offer. In addition, on parts of the island, vines are exposed to strong ocean winds that can ruin a vintage, so the growers build these stone walls around the top of the craters as extra wind protection. An additional challenge that growers face is the island's humidity, which encourages the growth of pesky molds. Many growers rely heavily on chemical sprays to fight these molds, but Bermejos is among the handful that resist such temptations. They've earned the Ecologico stamp you see on every bottle. So to summarize, high winds, humidity, infertile soils, low vine density, obscure grape varieties, Man, you'd think the growers would be some of the most serious, unsmiling, dour people on earth. Fortunately, not so much. To buy more of this wine, simply type this bit.ly link into your browser. Just be careful, it's case sensitive. And to see more of our wine stories, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or click on the next video you see in the boxes appearing on your screen right now.